you know, I just realized something. You know how Spider Man Into the Spider Verse that、uh, came along with、uh, this mind blowing animation style that、uh, made everyone go crazy about it and, and and would want to see more of this、uh, quote unquote Spider Verse animation style, or as like I like to call it, the、uh, comic book animation style, the stylized animation style. And now, now in this day and age,、uh, people are starting to turn their backs on、uh, computer animated films.、Uh, And and all that stuff, and they they want to see more of these、uh, stylized animation styles than the computer animation、uh, animation styles. Um, that honestly might be a metaphor for uh this movie right here. Uh, where Woody is the computer anime, Woody is uh CG animation, while Buzz is the、uh, Spider Verse uh animation, and.、Uh, Basically, this whole jealousy thing would have happened in like、uh, in not in, only in twenty eighteen, but also in this、uh, decade so far. Yeah, what a coincidence! Hey guys, this is Frozen Things, Frozen Wish Studios here, and welcome back to another movie review. And today, I am going to be reviewing Toy Story. Yes, guys, I'm going to be re- reviewing the Toy Story franchise.、Uh, In in honor of Toy Story Four's、uh, fifth anniversary, even though I'm not a fan of that one, uh, but yeah, um, now yeah, just a heads up, guys. Uh, Toy Story will be my last、uh, set of Pixar reviews. Uh, yeah, after the Toy Story franchise, uh, I uh probably won't be reviewing uh any more Pixar movies. Uh, this is the last set. Uh, the last uh Pixar movies that I do want to review for Pixar month. However, I will still continue doing more、uh, Pixar content、uh, for you guys.、Uh, anyways, let's get it on. So, Toy Story is the、uh, not only the first installment in the Toy Story franchise, but also the first、uh, Pixar film overall and the very first、uh, computer animated film. And it's、uh, directed by John Lasseter and came out in the year nineteen ninety five, the same year as. Films like Heat and Seven, uh, and uh, it, and it's uh, it stars Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, uh, Don Rickles, uh, Jim Varney, uh, Wallace Shawn, John Ratzenberger, Annie Potts, uh, John Morris, uh, Eric Von Det, and uh, Larry Metcalf, uh, Arlie Ermey, uh, uh, et cetera. And so the film tells the story of uh. It tells the story of these toys、uh, who、uh, basically come to life, and, and the movie asks the question, "What if、uh, these toys come to life?"、Uh, it centers around Andy,、uh, a、uh, co- a a kid with like multiple toys, but he act but and then but then he has a favorite toy who is、uh, Woody,、uh, and then, but then everything changed when um when um Andy's birthday party、uh, came around.、Uh, now yeah, Woody is like pretty much. Pretty much the leader of the toys、uh, since Woody is,、uh, well, Woody is Andy's favorite toy, and so yeah, when whenever Andy you know、uh, isn't watching, isn't looking, these toys are、uh, come to life, yeah,、uh, and Woody thinks that Woody lives very happily with、uh, with Andy, and, and is pretty much proud of being Andy's favorite toy, but however,、uh, a new toy comes around by the name of Buzz Lightyear, who is a、uh, A space ranger, uh, based on you know Andy's favorite movie, Lightyear, and um, yeah, uh, so yeah, Buzz came around, uh, but unfortunately, Buzz's arrival makes Woody jealous because uh, makes Woody fear that Buzz would uh, replace uh, um, and w- w- would replace Woody as Andy's favorite toy, but unfortunately. Yes,、yeah, so、uh, Buzz did become Andy's new favorite toy, which made the、uh, Woody jealous. So Woody, um, yeah, um, Woody, uh, wants to get rid of Buzz, and so uh, what, and this results in uh, Woody and Buzz to be thrown out of the house, uh, and uh, yeah, this results in them to be thrown out of the house. But technically, Buzz w- was thrown out of the house while Andy takes uh Woody out to, on 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 a trip, and so yeah, they must. Pretty much put put aside their 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 differences and work together. Woody must overcome his jealousy, and Buzz must accept the fact that he is a toy. Because throughout the film, Buzz uh, the Buzz sees himself as a space ranger, but never really um, 
but but it took him a while to like figure out that he is a toy so yeah that's the plot now it's no secret that toy story is one of the most iconic movies ever made and arguably the most iconic animated film yeah you may argue that uh beauty and the beauty and the beast and the and the lion king is uh are more iconic uh, and you also got spirited away but toy story is iconic for today's animation standards because today we mostly have your know, computer animated films replacing 2d animated films so uh, and and yeah um yeah we got that uh, and it's all thanks to john lasseter and pixar for creating the very first the computer animations computer animation style which at the time was was a is a brand new um animation style uh and yeah um now um yeah I, yeah, I, I wonder how um, people w w would have re responded the first time they saw it. I'm sure um, it would have been insane at, for, for CG animation to, to come around at that time. Uh, and yeah, sure, we, we still got the, the 2D anime films. Uh, even after Toy Story, we still got them like uh, Hercules, the like Hunchback Hercules, Tarzan, Mulan, uh, and oh, all that stuff. Uh, and even some of the uh, post Renaissance era. But nowadays, uh, in this modern day and age, uh, yeah, uh, in this modern day and age, CG animation has uh, completely, uh, has completely replaced the uh, two D animation. Uh, and yeah, say what you want about, about John Lasseter being a uh, criminal uh, person, a bad person in real life. But when it comes to his work, you can't deny that his work is good. If he's gonna hate on John Lasseter as a director just because of his personal life. I think you need, to, you need to separate the art from the artist. John Lasseter may not be a good person, but th th that doesn't mean he, he he's not a good artist. I think John Lasseter is such a brilliant brilliant artist, and without the man, we wouldn't have uh, Pixar today. And yes, guys, uh, Pixar is uh, considered to be uh, the one of, if not the greatest animation studio of all time. Uh, while I still prefer Walt Disney Animation Studios, uh, Pixar is a studio in my heart. Uh, and yeah, um, and honestly, it really sucks that people just hate on, uh, hate the uh, um, computer animation today. As I said in the end show, um, we have these Spider-Verse animation styles now. Um, now, to the animation, what was wasn't really criticized like like because of you know um, CG animation replaced the uh, um the reason why CG animation is replacing uh. It is replacing replaced 2D animation is because 2D animation films have been flopping and flopping and flopping at the box office uh, so much so that you know they that that uh, filmmakers were convinced that people wanted to see uh um computer animated films uh itself over uh hand drawn animation so yeah that's why we had to like just move on but nowadays people when uh, the spire first animation style ca came around uh, people just started to just to, to see uh computer animation style as something so bland and so lifeless you know honestly it makes you sad though because because honestly i still think uh, cg animation is is uh the best animation style there i said it uh yeah cg animation it, it i will i honestly should make a video talking about cg animation um because cg animation like people uh, say that oh uh, CG animation is so uncreative it, it it looks so easy to make it like they don't they don't, it doesn't seem like they take your time it's too smooth it's not a, it, it it's so lifeless there's no there's no expressions uh, yeah it it just like what I said it's just sad to see um it, it, it it's just really sad to see you know um, computer animation get, get thrown out of the radar because they think that the, it's not creative enough and Spider-Verse animation style exists. Uh, and I mean, yeah, some of my favorite animated films are, uh, you know, CG. Sure, sure you got these Spider-Verse animation styles like, uh, with, like for Wish and uh, the 2D hand-drawn animation style of Lion King, but still, uh, my point is, I, I'm sure I made my point on that. Uh, I mean, Frozen 2 as the most gorgeous and realistic CG animation. And realistic animation is creative. Uh, it, sure, it may not be expressive and cartoony. It may not be, it may not define cartoons for you. But do you know how hard it is to make CG animation? How hard it is to, to make them look realistic? Their faces, especially their, their, their hair. Um, uh, making animation realistic takes mastery, you know. Drawing, like... 
and, and uh, you're meant to just appreciate the, the, the realism. So I do wish that, so I do think that, that CG animation deserves far more respect. Uh, more respect, yes. And, and so, yeah, we, uh, and so, yeah, now Toy Story is not only revolutionary for its, uh, for its animation, but also impact on, like, story-wise. Heck, there are some people who, who say that Toy Story is their favorite, not only their, their favorite Pixar movie, but their favorite animated film, and quite possibly their favorite movie of all time. I've heard people say uh, this first Toy Story movie is the uh, best uh, Toy Story movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the best uh, Toy Story movie and the best Pixar movie in general. I heard people call this one their favorite animated film of all time. Uh, uh, like, uh, you know, yeah. And also, and even some even go as far as calling it their favorite movie of all time. Like, a uh, massive subscriber of mine, uh, Zach Popo, one of my favorite YouTube critics, and probably the most underrated YouTube critics, because um, people hate Zach Popo for being too too kind, but but I uh, support that, that idea, by the way. Uh, this is Zach Popo's favorite movie of all time. And I can totally see why. Um... Now, yes, Toy Story is objectively a very influential film. Uh, now, you may have, you may feel different towards it. You may call this movie overrated, like Shea Frillas. Yeah, Shea Frillas calls this movie overrated. But you gotta respect this movie for what it did to the animation industry and the impact it had. Because without this movie, we wouldn't have the, the animation style, the uh, CG animation style that we have today. So, objectively, you have to respect this movie and admire it. But let's talk about my personal thoughts in the film. Uh, now I have to be as honest as possible. I I, I can't just say I love it because it, it it it's a game changer. I don't. I'm not the type of person who would always uh, go jump on the popular uh popular uh, opinion bandwagon. But uh, th that's really the thing. Um, w th that's actually one of my one of my problems with moviegoers is how they always jump on the popular movie bandwagon, popular opinion. They just want to to look popular. Instead of being more open and, and honest, uh, that's actually uh, a uh, video that I, a video essay that I'm going to make for later. The problems with moviegoers, and, and and that's certainly one of the problems. But yeah, as why why do I think of Toy Story? In my personal opinion, I love it. Yes, guys, I love Toy Story, and I I love it uh, on in a, on a personal level too, not just a. Uh, uh, not just an objective level. Uh, yeah, now, but in my honest opinion on Toy Story, yes, I love it. I think it's a masterpiece. It's not the it's not the uh the best Toy Story movie. In fact, I think out of all the films in the original trilogy, the first three Toy Story films, this is the weakest one of them all. Yeah, this is the weakest in the original trilogy. Um, uh, yeah, obviously everyone knows that Toy Story four is. Is the weakest one. It, it let's be really here. Toy Story Four is objectively the weakest Toy Story movie, but I mean, in the first three films, you, you can easily the de de debate as to like which uh, Toy Story movie is your favorite. Some say the first one, some say the second one. If you know it so well, you you know that Toy Story Three is my favorite, and I, and I'm certainly not alone this one. But but yeah, now let's get into what I love about Toy Story. Uh. Yeah, what makes Toy Story a masterpiece, and also, and also, I will also talk about what makes Toy Story, Toy Story the weakest in, in the trilogy, and and how it's like inferior to Toy Story two and three. Now, of course, I gotta talk about the animation because uh, the the new CG animation style is what the, is what we all came here for. Yes, I know people do criticize the animation for um, for being outdated, and yes, guys, I will say. It is true that that the animation in Toy Story is very outdated. Uh, like, you know, it made yeah. In, in comparison to the animation we have today, you you can clearly see how you know the, the, these toys like move really awkwardly. How uh, how you know, awkward their, their their facial expressions what, express their their facial expressions are, especially uh, the the the, the designs of the human characters. So like. Andy, Molly, um, his mom, I forgot the name, uh, yeah, especially Molly, like, they all look obviously out, out, outdated and all that stuff, uh, I will admit, though, I actually think that the animation is slightly better than, than, than I remember it being, um, remember it being, um, yeah, I, 
don't i think that the, the designs on the toys is not dated at all i mean character designs like i mean yeah sure woody made made, made uh, some memeable faces so due to his outdated design but i mean characters like buzz lightyear and some of the a lot of the other toys they're not outdated at all like not not even in the slightest bit uh yeah so yeah i applaud me for trying to hold up even if not fully the animation it's not perfect in the animation department but i mean you can't uh you know you can't really criticize it because uh this animation style th this was the very first computer animation so of course it's not gonna look the best because it's actually supposed to be an experimental kind of animation style it's not supposed to, like toy story 2 was was made the what was when people were like okay yeah let's make a let's uh make a video animation for real this time the first toy story was just an experiment and that's pretty much uh the best way to sum up this movie it's a, a, an experiment for a new kind of animation but it turned out to be so good that it, it that it broke new grounds uh, for animation but yeah another honest thing i want to say about this movie is that it's not quite my top 10 favorite Pixar films if you saw my top 10 favorite Pixar films video, I um, I um, uh, placed this in Toy Story 2 as the honorable mention. Toy Story 3 was the only Toy Story movie that, that, that made my top 10 favorite movies, uh, favorite Pixar movies this, and for good reason. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do think there's just pair of Pixar films out there. Heck, Toy Story isn't even my favorite Pixar film, Pixar franchise. So, yeah, uh, The Incredibles uh, will always be my favorite Pixar franchise. And Inside Out is, is my second favorite Pixar franchise. Um, and though, I'm actually debating on which franchise I prefer. Uh, Toy Story and Monsters Inc. is like neck to neck for me. I, I, I'm going to have to debate that. Monsters Inc. is better than... Monsters Inc. is better than all the Toy Story films. But Monsters, comparing you know, uh, with Monsters University, I'll have to think about that. But, uh, but don't get me wrong, I love Monsters... You know what? Screw it, though. Monsters University is uh, a better franchise than, uh, th than, um, we'll see about that, um, uh, yeah, it's kind of tough. Okay, maybe for now, I'll put Toy Story above Monsters Inc. Because Monsters Inc. and Monsters Inc. are just two films, and, and one of them is not perfect, uh, but, um, I think there should be a third film, and the third film should, should be, there should be another Monsters Inc. film and that should be as masterful as Monsters Inc. itself. Um, yeah, and then maybe I'll put much, the Monsters franchise over Toy Story if possible. It's better than the Finding Nemo duology, and certainly better than the, than the Cars trilogy. Yeah, we can all agree the Cars trilogy is the worst uh, Pixar trilogy. Yeah, uh, so yeah, there's that, yeah, so this is like, it may be in my top three favorites, but that that's just because the Toy Story trilogy is perfect. And yes, guys. I am calling Toy Story a trilogy because uh, Toy Story 4 does not deserve to be acknowledged. Um, okay, well, we'll see how Toy Story 4 goes. Maybe I'll reserve my thoughts for Toy Story 4 because what if I actually... We don't know if, how harsh I can be on it or, or maybe I'm not, I won't be that harsh on it. I don't know. But yeah, seriously, it's not just the animation that makes this movie special and, 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 and nostalgic. Uh, it, it, it's actually the, the, the clever concept. Uh, and... Pixar really, um, like, Pixar really masters of the craft of, you know, these things, uh, and, and the concept of these things, and, and how they fit into the world, and, and, and make them, make them feel like themselves, so, you know, the, the concept around toys, uh, this movie is able to deliver narrative about toys while making them feel toys, like, like toys, and Shane Fritter's subproductions really summed up best about cars, I, something I forgot to mention in my Cars review yesterday. Uh, like, you know, um, one of the main problems I have with, with the Cars trilogy, and I, I, I'm totally, I totally agree with Shay for this. But if you didn't see that video, it's an analysis video on Cars as a trilogy. So basically, the main problem with Cars, the, the franchise, is that it, 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 the narrative is something that uh, can be uh, accomplished by humans. You know, uh, Lightning McQueen uh, in the first film, Lightning McQueen, um, you know, uh. Ma Lightning McQueen must, you know, uh, find, you know, find a healthy relationship with his, with his, uh, with friends and people around him. A human storyline. Cars Two is one that actually f felt like the closest to a Cars narrative, with you know, gas uh, with all the gas stuff and, and, and car evil cars messing with gas. That actually feels like a concept for Cars. 
But Cars 3, I retired racer, uh, must uh, learn when to give up and uh, like uh, bring in a new generation all that stuff. That's totally a human story. Like, and by the way, Hollywood is actually retelling uh, the story of Cars 3 with humans, uh, which is in Joseph Kosinski's uh, upcoming for everyone movie. Look at the plot. It's Larry Cars 3, but I guarantee you it's going to be the better version of Cars 3. It's going to be Cars 3 done, right? Uh, but and now let's look at Toy Story. Toy Story is a movie um, about you know um, toys, um, like toys and, and how they react to a child's love for them. They're a child's plaything, uh, like like what Woody said. Uh, and, and and each Toy Story film is able to deliver a concept that that that's where they actually make toys feel like toys. The narrative around them is toys, and this film is. Um, while it is a tad bit thin, I think th- th- it's still a masterful plot regardless. Uh, and and it actually um, tackles a very a, a very relatable theme, which is jealousy. Uh, and yeah, uh, what and Woody and Buzz are one of the most iconic uh, movie duos ever. Yes, yeah, sure, I still stand by preferring uh, Mike and Sully and Anxiety and Envy when it comes to uh, Pixar duos. Uh, um, well, j- same gender duo, not not romantic couples. So uh, if you call rom- romantic couples, uh, Ember and Way would have obviously been my favorite Pixar couple. Uh, Pixar two, I mean. Um. But yeah, uh, Woody and Buzz are just so iconic, and they're iconic for a reason. And and, and this movie is uh, has great character developments. Now, Woody in this film uh, isn't the the hero, um, and 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 the likable character that that you all thought uh, in that. Y'all, y'all were thinking because that, that's later to come in both Toy Story two and three. In this film, what he started out as very selfish, selfish and unlikable. I know people, the, the the people who call this movie overrated. That the, their main complaint is how unlikable Woody is. Like he he goes way too far. Uh, in, in in this film. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I personally uh d- defend Woody Woody in this film. I I think uh. There was a reason why on, on why Woody was an asshole, and you may argue that that, that Woody it was antagonistic, uh, and trust me, it could have been worse because uh, Woody um was literally uh, originally written to be a villain of the film. Like he could have been like Ralph from Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh. But yeah, um, the reason why Woody uh, hates Boss and is jealous of him is because it's it's to convey the message. Uh, to, 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 to not be jealous and, and to accept uh, yeah w- w- what he clearly said best uh, as long as uh, we're all loved uh, and not abandoned uh, like we won't be replaced but then Woody uh, but there, you may think that the, that Woody is uh, um, a hypocrite for saying that but but yet uh, he, he he's pissed about getting, getting replaced but actually the, the thing is uh, in, when Woody um, said that in his speech uh, he in the opening speech, I, he didn't think that he would be replaced. That he wants to defend him, but there's no one to defend him. When Buzz was what was about to replace Woody, uh, as Andy's favorite toy, and and so yeah, basically Woody fights to stay as Andy's favorite toy. That is a great narrative for a toy. Um, and also we have Buzz. The the the, the Buzz storyline is also clever. Uh, because uh Buzz uh. Throughout the film, uh, Buzz believes that, that, that he's a real space ranger. Like he thinks that he's on, he landed he landed he landed on on another planet. He thinks that 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 the bed, Andy's bed is a landing zone, and uh, all the toys are like aliens. Uh, are, are creatures from 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 the planet he's on. Woody convinces Buzz that that he's a toy, but then Buzz thinks that oh, oh w- w- that that Woody is just mocking him. Uh. You know, with a you are a toy, and by the way, I, I can't lines. Yeah, this movie has some iconic lines like that, and uh, so many others. Like it's so hard to name them, but whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. And see that. Yeah, the thing is, um, yeah, that Woody um Buzz uh, is uh motivated to uh to 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 to, to go back th- there, but he actually um. But but Woody just knows that 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 Buzz is just a toy. But uh, but then later on in the film, Buzz realizes that that that, that he's right all all along. Uh, he's right all, all along that Woody is right that Buzz is actually just a toy. But he actually believed that that that, that he went to college for some reason. You know, with a 
I went to college. Yeah, co from Plankton. I believe her or not, Doug. And yeah, uh, Woody and Buzz is like bickering all over each other. Um, it really what's made it what made the dynamic because the more they they stuck together, the more they actually started to grow grow uh, on each other. Woody understands that 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 he, he cannot be like the best toy forever. Like he Woody realizes in 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 this film that uh, being uh jealous that being jealous is uh um how do I say it's uh that uh being your your being the best is not what you should strive for but you should try for try to be loved you don't need to be the best you you just need to be loved and and, and that's the message of the, of the film and the message with boss's character arc is uh acceptance just accept yourself for who you are uh no need to like don't try uh, to 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 be someone you're not and and all that stuff yeah that, that's a great uh the great ideas and the humor of this film is really good as well. It, it, it's really hilarious. Uh, I can't really analyze the jokes, but but yeah, they, they certainly did make me laugh. In fact, this is the funniest Pixar movie, in my opinion. I said that I called Inside Out to the funniest Pixar movie, I think. But actually, this one is funnier. It, like, it has some laugh out loud moments. The pacing goes by really fast, and it's only an hour and 21 minutes long, but that, that's pretty much what animation was like back then. Uh, uh, and we, we don't get an, a lot of short anime films nowadays unless it, unless they suck yeah a, a, a lot of shitty anime movies uh, nowadays are an hour and 20 minutes if you think about it and, and 90 minutes and above like like 100 hour and 40 minutes are the good quality anime films uh, if you've been noticing uh, lately with these animated films yeah um, they only give they mostly give the, the, yeah that run into low quality anime films uh, and and yeah um the songs are also really iconic as well, uh, especially with the You Got a Friend and Me. Yo, what, what an amazing song right there. I'm not sure if I would call it my favorite uh, Toy Story song. And yeah, it's not my favorite Pixar song. Uh, that would go to With Mind If You Steal the sh Yeah, sorry, 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 my voice was like cracking. Um, yeah, um, and all stuff. The, the score is also great. And uh, yeah. Uh, and, 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 and there's some great locations here, not just the house, but the Pizza Planet scene is is is, is great. The uh, Saint's house is maybe the weakest part of the film, but I lo I love how dark it is. Yeah, uh, I love how how uh, dark it is. Uh, yeah, um, you know, with um, with Sid the torturing toys. And by the way, uh, Sid. Honestly, grew on me as a villain. Yeah, Sid's character actually grew on me. Uh, now, now because you know, uh, Sid is uh, you know, Sid, Sid is maybe my my second favorite Toy Story villain, second only behind Lotso. And yes, I now prefer Sid over Sticky Pete, even though Toy Story Two is still better. Yeah, I mean they, the, the movie really does a great job of making you hate Sid, and he is such a dark villain. He literally tortures toys. He rips them off. And he makes these toys look scary, but they're scary because of how of how uh, Sid treated them, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, and and that scene when uh, Woody confronts uh, um, Sid uh, and, and all the toys just scare the shit out of him. Best scene in the film, hands down. Yeah, yeah, that climax is with that and the rocket scene is really good. Oh, and uh, of course, let's not forget the emotional Pixar moment because uh, there is actually one scene I cried in. It, it, it's only like minor tears, but it's still a really emotional scene. And I feel like people overlook the scene. It's a scene when uh, Buzz uh, watches this Buzz Lightyear commercial wh where they reveal that Buzz is actually a toy and Buzz finally finds out his true self, but he's like, nah, I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna fly. But then he falls he falls down the stairs and, and breaks his arm and then we see Buzz like, laying down in, in disbelief in a sad song playing that's actually a really emotional scene i actually teared up now it's not it's not the so long partner scene from toy story 3 not that at all but it's still really sad and again i think that is an underrated scene right there uh yeah people talk about that you are a toy scene the uh that, that you got a frenemy scene um you know all that stuff but no one talks about that that scene when, when buzz rediscover discovers that he's a toy oh and also the the flying scene uh, uh the rocket flying scene and all that stuff yeah but that scene that i just talked about uh needs more appreciation so overall toy story is a, is a masterpiece of, of animation 
It's not one of my favorites. It's not really a movie that I am passionate about that I would put as one of my favorite films of all time. But it is still um, a film that whether you like it or not, you have to at least respect it for what for what it did to animation. And also, I forgot to mention as well, it's not even my favorite my favorite movie of 2005. Uh, my favorite movie of 2005 uh, would be Heat and uh, 7 uh, would be Saga. Well, technically, I go back and forth between 7 or Heat, but as of now, I'll still say Heat is my favorite. But Toy Story is probably my third favorite movie of 1995. Oh yeah, fourth, I mean, uh, because actually, scratch that, Braveheart is my favorite, Braveheart is my favorite movie doesn't. 995. I can't believe I almost forgot, but yeah, Brave Braveheart is my favorite movie of that year. So yeah, but even though it's not the best, uh, I am still giving uh, Toy Story its worthy 5 stars out of 5. Uh, flawless movie. So also for my review of Toy Story, what are your personal thoughts on the film? Uh, do you uh, love this film and Haley as your masterpiece? Uh, would, this, would you consider this as your favorite uh, I made a film of all time or and one of your favorite movies period or are you one of those people who say this movie is overrated uh, um, comment down below like subscribe hit the notification bell and stay tuned for my reviews on the rest of the Toy Story films and maybe I review of bike riders but if I review bike riders uh, it's gonna be a little later because I, it's gonna be after my Toy Story 4 review uh, well, I'm 50-50 on, on if I'm going to review Bike Riders or not because I still got some more Pixar content to go. So anyways, bye guys.